Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple, minimal and professional looking logo animation in After Effects without using any third party plugins. It is going to be 100% After Effects, doesn't matter if you are new or professional to After Effects, it's going to be helpful. Also make sure to download the free project file from the link down in the description. And with that said, let's jump into the tutorial and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080. Let's make this 30 FPS, 10 seconds should be good. And let's call this logo here. Okay, and then I can drag in any logo that I want to use. So here I have a logo, for example. So I'll be using this one. And for the text, you can, of course, type in anything that you want. I'm just going to type in simple solutions just like you saw in the example and 170 looks good let's align it into the center i'll place the logo just like that maybe the text is a bit too big maybe i'll set this to 150 and yeah this is pretty good let's turn on the title action save just to get a bit better idea and then try to align it into the center yeah that is pretty nice now once we have the logo your comp let's drag it into a new composition just like that so we have the logo year two and this is going to be the logo reflection composition where we will be creating a reflection for our logo just so that it doesn't look very flat so let's rename this to logo underscore ref for reflection And then I can create a new solid. So hit control Y on the keyboard to create a new solid. I'm going to keep it white. Actually, it doesn't really matter which color you keep it, but just for the sake, I'm going to keep it white. And then I can just call this grid. Hit OK. Let's add a grid on this. Set the size from corner point to width slider. And then I can just make this a bit bigger be something like this looks pretty good and set this to 10 and invert this up just like so then let's create a new solid again so hit control y again call this ramp and then i'm going to add a gradient ramp to this just like so and i can select the point for the white values and the black values and bring them really close maybe something like that and let's actually ch select the grid layer toggle switch and change the blending mode to screen also turn on the transparency also i'm going to preserve the transparency by clicking on this icon and then change the track mode option to luma inverted so we have something like that now if you don't see the track mode option you can hit f4 on the keyboard that's that so as you can see it looks pretty good let's bring down the opacity so hit t and bring down the opacity a bit just so that it looks more like a reflection and then you can play around with the width depending on what kind of look you want to go for so i'm going to set this to somewhere around there and i can rotate it a bit just to make it look a bit more natural so maybe rotation of minus three very minimal and that is that looks pretty good we'll set this to 20 and you can also play around with the gradient ramp depending on what kind of look you want to go for. So I'm gonna keep it something like that looks pretty good. And there we have a nice reflection for our logo. Now let's drag the logo reflection composition into a new comp. So now let's rename this to actually select this and rename this to maybe let's call this logo comp. Double click to open that up. And now in this composition, we will be doing our main animation. So first of all, let's select the layer and add a card dance effect to this. 
and before that actually let's create a new composition and let's create a fractal noise for this i'm gonna call this fractal hit okay control y to create a new solid call this fractal and add fractal noise to this and i'm gonna change i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm not gonna change anything in this just i'm gonna add a linear wipe to this let's set this to minus 90 and we can animate this just like so maybe i'll set this to 90 i think and increase the feather to around 600 and now we can animate this so let's at the very beginning i'm going to create a keyframe on the transition completion by setting it to zero person go to around maybe two seconds and 15 frames increase this to 100 and we should have a very simple animation just like so now let's go into the logo reflect the logo comp that is the main animation comp and into the gradient layer one i'm going to set this to fractal so let's actually drag the fractal right over here hide this set the gradient layer one to fractal all right now you can see there is nothing happening but now let's increase the rows to around 20 and columns to 25 And now we can animate the Z position. So let's set the multiplier. Uh, let's first of all change the source to intensity. Bring up the multiplier to 14. And now we can animate this. So now you can see what are we going for. Right? Pretty damn cool. So now let's set the offset to around 13. Create a keyframe. Go to let's say maybe 2 second and 10 frames. And bring this down to 10 so we have a very simple animation but it's not closing up in the end so we need to fix that now as you can see we have a little issue at the end so I think the fractal is causing this issue so let's go right over here and as you can see the transition completion was not set to 100 so I'm gonna make this all the way to 100 and now BAM there we have a nice animation Pretty cool. Yep, that is what I am going for. Now let's create a blur map to add kind of a fake depth of field. So to do that, I'm gonna create a new composition called this blur map. Create a new solid, so hit control Y, hit okay, and add a linear wipe to this. So, you know, I can do something like that. Also add a new solid at the back. So hit control Y and make this black. So we don't have any transparency. And now I can just set this to zero, create a keyframe, go to around maybe two seconds, set this to all the way up to 100 and increase the feather to around 600. So we have a basic animation just like that. Pretty simple. And now let's go into the logo comp, drag the blur map, hide it, create a new solid. So create a new adjustment layer actually. So hit control alt and Y at the same time. Call this blur. Add a camera lens blur. I think that is what I'm going to go for and into the blur map i'm going to set this to blur map that we just created and increase the blur a bit now we should have that affecting but it's not affecting the way i wanted it to so i think i'm doing something wrong nope we are doing pretty good let's increase this blur value yep that is what i'm going for you can see this nice blur that we get I think I'm going to go into the blur map, hit U and increase the keyframe to around 3 seconds. Let's go. And yep, this is what I was going for. I think the blur is too strong. So let's bring this down to around 50. That looks much better. And everything else, I'm just going to leave it at default. You can also change the shape of the blur 
depending on what kind of look you want to go for i'm going to keep it at square because i think it looks pretty cool okay i think i'm gonna bring down the blur map a bit down like 35 or something because it's just too blurry mm, yeah that is looking very nice yeah that's good now let's drag the logo comp into a new comp which is going to be our main comp so let's call this main so now we have our main logo animation let's pretty quickly create a background for this so hit ctrl y to create a new solid make this white and call this pg for background hit ok i'm going to add a gradient ramp to this let's make this radial swap the colors and i'm just going to put it into a center let's bring this up just like that maybe increase the ramp scatter to 50 percent so that we don't get any color bendings maybe a bit more then i can hit ctrl y again to create a new solid make this black and i'm going to try to create kind of a fall off or a backdrop you can say so let's call this backdrop and create a mask just like so let's stretch this a bit and then hit F to bring down the feather properties. Increase the feather amount really high. Something like so. Looks pretty good. And I can just actually select them and move this a bit down. So we have a pretty good backdrop. I can play around with the feather property depending on how intense I want. So I'm going to keep it somewhere around there. Looks good. Let's put this layer back behind our logo so there we have it looking very nice as you can see now let's create a pretty quick shadow for our logo just to add a bit more depth to this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's rename this to shadow add a u and saturation bring this down and make it 3d now we can rotate it so hit r and rotate it on the y or the x rotation axis so something like that bring this at the bottom there we go and then add a fast blur to this and bring down the opacity a bit because i want it to be very minimal and there we have a nice shadow for our animation it adds a bit more depth you know now let's pretty quickly do some cc for this so hit ctrl alt and y i'm going to call this cc for color correction and then add a curve to this maybe increase the highlights a bit just a touch then create a new adjustment layer again and i'm going to call this filter add a photo filter to this photo filter and for the preset i'm going to select the cooling filter 82 one of my favorite bring down the intensity a bit like maybe let's go with around eight percent looks good maybe around ten percent yep that is much better and now we can go ahead and add some optical flares to this now i have already pre-rendered the optical flares but if you have optical flares plugin you can use that as well so i'm gonna drag first one here and the second one here as well and then i can change the blending mode of this too so hit f4 and set this to screen and this one to screen as well now they are a bit sharp so what i can do is add a fast blur to this just increase the fast blur a bit around maybe 100 copy it Control c paste it on the flare 2 Control v now we have this nice look you can see looking pretty damn cool then i can actually select the logo and the shadow and i'm gonna add a bit scaling animation so hit s create a keyframe go to around maybe six seconds and add a scale of 110 
So we have a little of scaling animation throughout the project. Okay. Then let's select the lens flare three, add that as well. And this one is going to be right over here. Let's set this to screen again. Yep, this is looking much better as you can see. And the last one I'm going to add right over here at the end. Let's set this to screen. That looks much better. Let's pretty quickly preview the complete animation. And there we have our really nice, simple, but professional looking logo animation for a business, a company or a corporate, you know, agency or something like that. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Also, if you guys want me to create a tutorial on any particular topic, then do let me know in the comment section below. And if a comment gets the most number of likes, I'll definitely create a tutorial on that particular topic. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.